Hi everyone, Abby here, your English teacher at Mozalingua. Today, I'd like to show you even more tools for practicing your English in your spare time. This time, let's look at some activities you can do while you're on the move. Before we go any further, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Also, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming language learning hacks. I've already talked several times about using movies, TV series, and other videos in English to improve your listening comprehension skills. The only problem with this approach is that you have to stay seated in one place until the video is over which can become a problem if you travel a lot or if you have a very busy work schedule. You might not always have access to a television or a computer, but there are surely some spare moments during your day when you have some extra time, like during your commute to work or while you're exercising. Now, what if I told you that you could use this spare time as an opportunity to immerse yourself in English. Since almost everyone nowadays has a smartphone, this is totally possible using podcasts and audiobooks. For those of you who don't know what these are, they are both recordings that you can store in your mobile device and play whenever you want to. Podcasts are usually shows that are similar to what you might hear on the radio, while audiobooks are entire books that have been read out loud and recorded. Podcasts are ideal for beginners because many are specifically designed for English learners and feature things like slower pronunciation and adapted vocabulary and grammar. There are also plenty of regular podcasts on all sorts of topics, so you're sure to find at least one that interests you. Usually, the level of English for regular podcasts is suitable for intermediate learners, although beginners who are very motivated might also be able to understand them, especially if a transcript is available online. Initially designed for people who are blind or visually impaired, or people who don't have time to read books on paper, audiobooks, or books on tape, are also great for language learners who want to work on their listening comprehension. Audiobooks are generally best for more advanced learners, depending on the book, so be sure you choose according to your level. Podcasts and audiobooks are available straight from your mobile device, and more often than not, they're free. For those of you who use Apple, a podcast application comes already downloaded on your device. You can search from among the hundreds of podcasts available, load, and play. It's as easy as that. For Android users, I recommend applications like TuneIn or Podcast Addict, and these work in the same way that I just described. Similarly, you can search, download, and play audiobooks on your Apple device using the iBooks app. Use the filter to search for audiobooks only. The app Audible is also an excellent source for audiobooks and is available on Android and iOS. You can also explore the content of the app LibriVox, which has thousands of free audiobooks. Check with your local library to see if they offer downloadable audiobooks. My library has a pretty wide selection, and of course, borrowing them is free. You might need to download a special app, such as Overdrive, in order to listen to these audiobooks. Now, there are a few things you need to know before downloading your first podcast or audiobook. You need to remember that there are tons of these out there, and not all of them will be right for your level or your interests. It might be smart to start with a podcast that is dedicated to English learners. And if you understand that one easily, then you can move on to a regular podcast. In the description of this video down below, 
you'll find a link to our list of the best podcasts for learning English. Of course, you don't have to limit yourself to these. Once you feel comfortable, go ahead and explore other podcasts about your interests or hobbies. The same goes for audiobooks. As I said earlier, these are usually best for intermediate to advanced learners. If you do decide to take on this challenge, I recommend going for a book that is better suited to language learners, like The Little Prince or the first Harry Potter book. Another good option is to pick a book that you have already read and enjoyed in your native language. Since you are already familiar with the plot, you'll be able to focus on the language and really improving your comprehension skills. I also recommend choosing a book that is fairly short to start or a book that does not have tons and tons of characters and different plot lines. Once again, down below you'll find a link to an article on our blog that lists some of the best audiobooks for English language learners. One last piece of advice. While you're listening, be sure to use the pause and rewind buttons whenever you feel that it's necessary. The more you repeat an expression, the more likely you are to remember it. And if you still find it too hard to understand, feel free to reduce the audio speed. There's usually a button in your app or music player that allows you to reduce the speed to 0.75 or even 0.5 the normal speed. 0.75 is usually perfect. And you'll see, listening to English content can be easy and enjoyable. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. So what are you waiting for? Put in your earbuds, get moving, and start learning a language today. And remember, consistency and regularity are paramount if you want to make progress in English. If you're watching on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you like our page or follow us to make sure you don't miss out on the latest language learning hacks, tips, and news from Mozalingua. Take care and I'll see you soon.